Hi, welcome back to part three of my completed pages and all my coloring books. This is the third part. So if you haven't seen the first or the second part, I suggest you start here. Now let's look at these books. First, I want to show you Emilia Lidahal Urbar. And this is Fairy Tales. And I haven't colored in many years. I think it's uh, cracked open here. I haven't colored in many years in this book. But, uh, absolutely love it. One of my favorite artists. I got this one. This I finished in 2020 actually. I think this is the last one. Or maybe this one. Oh, this is 2021. Still many years. We got this one. That is it. Only written my name there. Then we got Sagor of Sagnar. Uh, this one is not to can't get it anymore, but there's a new copy coming out soon. So keep an eye out for that. And I've done this one. Really love how this one turned out. Still one of my favorite pages. And this one is Ink Tense. What's, sort of, what's going on over there? Something is happening there. Not sure. Then we got this one. I did a lot of um, Inktober prompts in here, I think. And this one, also Inktober. this one then let's move on to many just a penny good deal this is um i think it's just called circle of life this the region copy I've only done one in here, and that's this one. I absolutely love these books, but I did have a mission to color at least one page in each book. So, unfortunately, I only got to do one and then I had to move on. <laughs> but I can't wait to get to this one again. Same story with the they called Enchanted Earth, I think. Where's the game? Yeah, Enchanted Earth. And here as well, I only done. This one is single sided. Only done. I think it's in the start here somewhere. There we go. This one, Ink Tense. Couldn't figure out what this thing thing was, so I colored it as a metallic petal. All right. 
And the last one from Melpomene is Nature Mandalas. It's really smooth paper. This one also is one. Oh. There it is. Also with ink tents. Really like how this one turned out. Gorgeous books. I hope to color more in them in uh, this year. Depends on the list. So I have a pre-made list of, for the whole year and maybe next year. All right, moving on to my gaming and TV series. Uh, basically all like fandom stuff. This is a mouse guard by David Peterson. And this one I've started in order with ink pens. And I also did uh, some research and I found the characters on a website. I think David has his own website with all the characters and, and stuff. So I wrote them down and found the colors. And I only done two in here so far. So I tried to make it as the characters from the website because this is actually from um, um, a cartoon or not a TV series cartoon, but like a book cartoon. You can see that I have written down names. <laughs> There's a name. There's a name. Bam. Comic. It's a called. It's called a comic. All right. Next one is Dr. Seuss coloring book, and I have done one in here. And I tried to make the page like cohesive and not busy because the page is busy itself so I made the colors uh, everything like look similar except for the characters uh, that I wanted to like pop off off the page so but they have similar colors as well there these are yellow uh, green pink orange and this one is orange and, and yellow, so it's not chaotic. So your eyes are at ease, and you know it's not, not like the oh I don't know where to where to look because there's so much. But yeah, so that one, this is with the colors of. I'm trying to name some of my pens, but I can't remember everything. Uh, the Outlander coloring book. This is by Diana Gabaldon. Not sure if I pronounce that correctly. Absolutely love this TV series. So this is the one I've done with Prisma colors. Yeah. This is by Tommy Slab Comic, and I absolutely love this style. There's a few in here. This one you can tell is Sim. I want to get the Tommy Slav Tomic books. But I'm guessing I have to go on a certain page to do that. Alright. Game of Thrones calling book. This is the official Game of Thrones, not the HBO one. This is by the author himself, I think. Well, it's not the artist, but uh, here's the artist. Tommy Slav Tommy is in here as well. I absolutely, absolutely love this style. I don't know who this one is, but... Uh, love it. Here's 
for me stuff. Anyways, I've done one in here. That is this one. This used to be a really old bit, and then I finished it in 2020. I probably started it in like 2016 or something, I don't know. I think that is it, so yes. Then we got the Witcher based on the video games. Done a couple in here. This one is my favorite style. No, not this one. Where is it? This one. Absolutely love the style on, on this page. Same as this one. I just really love the sketchy sketchy style. The same as this one, it's the same same style. This one. This one took a lot of time because I had to I I tried to find out who every character was and then I tried to color them as the the same in the game so it took some time to to finish this one then we got this one first one in this book what i learned in this book is that it's so smooth that you have to I mean, I tried to like color. I started with the lightest um, color first, like in the skin here. Then I tried to shade it, but it was already the paper was already tired, so couldn't really get so much more color in it. So definitely start with the shadows if you want it to be really deep shadows. Then we got the Nickelodeon, the splat coloring book. And this has a bunch of Nickelodeon. It also has Ninja Turtles and SpongeBob. But I wish there was a uh, Cartoon Network one because that's was my channel that I looked at. So a bunch of different ones. I've done this one because this one is familiar to me. Well, the movie is familiar to me. I don't know if, if, if they're a booster and TV series, I'm not sure. Maybe. Maybe they're boys actually. Like this, I don't know what I've seen it, but I don't know what it is. So many characters in there that I don't know so as I said I was more like a Cartoon Network person and Disney all right then we got Tomb Raider absolutely love the video games So this is from basically all the video games because you can even see the um, name of the video game here. This one that I did. With markers, I believe. Yes. Want to do more in this this one as well? The last one of the fandom books is the HBO 
Game of Thrones. This is from the TV series. And I only... This is a huge book. This is... Uh... <laughs> Look at the difference. Here's my hand. Anyways, I've done uh, one in here. You can see uh, if you've seen the show. Um, that the faces are familiar. Here is the one I've done. The nearest Targaryen. With the... Color soft, Dervin color soft. <laughs> These are time-consuming pages because there, are, there's a lot of detail, and it's a big book, so it takes a long time to. Look at this! Look how detailed. Takes a lot of time to color. Now let's move on to miscellaneous books. Alright, this is miscellaneous books where I only have one book from this uh, these artists. This is Claire Scully's Vidmark. English name is... I've written down. Oh, I don't have any English name. This is uh, German, actually. Nordisch Wildnis. Okay, I've done only this page in this one. You can barely tell, but there's like few shadow colors here and then highlights and same with the, this is just a green and teal turquoise yeah I'm not really I mean I'm not really into this but uh, I love like this page really love these ones and this one And then we got this one, which is always. Oh, there's one that is really, yeah, really in the middle there. Love this page. One is pretty nice too. And I think this is the favorite one. Page. I don't know what to do with the structure. Maybe I should just color over it, or maybe I should do something about that. We'll see. Then we got Spooky by Sarah Shensik. And I'm all done. This book is so cute if you haven't seen it. Absolutely love the style. But I've only done one in here. I am marked one that's one to do, and that's this one. Here's the one that I did. I love like the vintage vibe over this page. Yeah. Then we got uh, Colin Thompson's fantastic coloring book, I think it's called. And I have started only. on the other side. Here we go. 
started this, so here's the pip. I figured crisp color is the best for this page. But also luminous works, but I don't have that many luminous colors. So and also the color swap. Because I don't like it if I can see the gray in between because then I, it looks muddy. Uh, so I like the coverage of the Prisma color the most. Here is uh, polychromos, but it still doesn't look that muddy. Anyways, let's see the rest of the book is really detailed. Really time consuming. Then we got uh, this book. It has no artist. And I have done this page with um, alcohol markers and a glitter. here there's text on every page here all right then we got um Daria songs what is the English name time garden we call it the magical clock <laughs> or yeah clock and I, I was actually on the fence to actually try to get rid of this book uh, because um, I don't like all the patterns, like all this. And there's so many pages that it's alike. Like, there's too many stars. <laughs> So many stars. But I have decided to give it another try. And I have done one page a long time ago. And that is... Oh, I did some stars. <laughs> I did uh, this one in 2016. See, I didn't even... I considered it done, but I didn't do the um, frame here. Maybe one day, we'll see. <laughs> but uh, yeah. You see those things in the background? They are shiny. That's like a silver pencil. <laughs> yeah, it's not that great. Not that great. Then we got Color Odyssey by Chris Garver. This book is underrated. It uh, has some really pretty, pretty pages. Like these ones are really pretty. This is one that I've done with the color soft pencils. There's a lot of pattern stuff in here as well, but um, some of the pages are really gorgeous. There's an owl. You can have a whip in here. I, I really like this one as well. Whip in here that I showed, yeah, where I showed how to color neon colors. Like this one. This is the first one in this book from 2016. This is like permanent mark in the background, and I'm never gonna use that again, even though it didn't bleed through, but it did bleed over here. 
Oh, I do like this one. Ah. Uh, Chris Grover, by the way, has a, I think he has another book. At least one more book, I think. Uh, I don't know if they're in print anymore. But he is like a tattoo artist. Then we got my own one and only mythographic book by Fabiana Antonasio, Menagerie. And I recently just did one in here. That is this one with polychromos. No, this is Prismacolors. Beautiful book. And I do need to get more mythographic books. <laughs> I guess. But I'm not sure if I want them all. Just a few of them. Then we got The Sea Dreams by Thomas Kincaid. And I have started this page. Finally, I started the book. And um, based it with um, gouache because it makes like a really textured page out of it. And then I have started to color the tree here. And that's it. That's all I did. And let's take a look how it actually looks like. I'm excited uh, how this is gonna turn out really. I think I'm doing a great job with this actually. It's not too far off. This is uh, this is painted with oils, oil paint, so yeah. Trying the best. Then we got the uh, mandalas. Uh, Wild Animals by Unicorn. Yes, this is Danish, I think. I don't think there's any artist there. Yeah, Danish. I don't think there's any artist in this. Oh, Vivian Ray is the artist. Right. I've only done one in here. Okay, just a really simple. I've done this one. It was an Inktober prompt. With, uh, this is with water-based markers and pencil on top and uh, this is uh, in this one then we got the tattoo coloring book and this is uh, I think it's miscellaneous artists yeah Shutterstock and team stock so it's not yep it's paid paid illustrations uh i think this is just what race markers that's it this is really old early 2016. I like this tiger though I like the shading of it even though i don't like grayscale that much <laughs> so yeah you can tell that this is shutter stock it's like generic photos in here did a background on this one with watercolor this, is, uh, this has become uh, look my test book I test different media this stuff this is with metallic paint acrylic paint and the rest is Pasca there's a friend's coloring that she hasn't finished Uh, 
And this one is not finished either with... <laughs> this is like a napkin background that I decoupaged in. This is really old bit. This is where I try the some uh, what are those called those uh, those those who looks like lipsticks by Faber Castell, but I used like a budget one type, and there, these were only the colors that existed. So <laughs> yeah, I think I never use that again after that. And then there's this one. This one and this one. I've done a lot in this book actually. Yeah. Last but not least, we got the Disney villains. This is the art of coloring um, collection. I think there's uh, more of them. And I done. These are the only ones I've done. And there's a lot of patterns in here. I think I'm just gonna ignore the patterns and just color over it. Guess. Yeah. Not a fan. All right, that was it for part three. I hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you in the fourth one. Bye.